Good morning and welcome to today's verse. Today's verse comes to us from the Gospel of St. Matthew, Matthew chapter 20, verse 17 to 19, and I will read it. It says, Now Jesus, going up to Jerusalem, took the twelve disciples aside on the road and said to them, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be betrayed to the chief priests and to the scribes, and they will condemn him to death, and they will deliver him to the Gentiles to mock and to scourge and to crucify. And the third day he will rise again. Ooh, what a, a, a very heart-rendering reminder of what the Lord went through for us on our behalf. And it's the third time that he's predicted his impending death to the disciples on the way to the cross, leaving Jericho on the way to Jerusalem. He's leading the way pulls the disciples aside on the road, and he has a very private conversation with them away from the masses so that he can prepare them. Can you imagine that they are following him as the Messiah and their hopes and dreams are all laid on him, and then they go to Jerusalem for this great feast and celebration, and then the Lord is taken, condemned, and put to death. Can you imagine how they would have fallen apart if they had not known if God had not taken the time to prepare them. And so he prepares them and he, he gives them a little bit more details this third time around. He says that he's going to be uh, betrayed. It doesn't identify the betrayer. That is, he's going to be turned over to uh, the chief priests and the scribes. They're going to have this trial. And, and at the conclusion of this trial, he's going to be condemned to death. They turn him over uh, to the Gentiles, to the Romans, where they will mock him and scorch him. And to be scorched, ah, to be scorched was where they would take these leather straps that was interlaced with uh, bone or metal of some kind. And they said, as the straps would come down, that they, the jagged edges would just rip the flesh from a person's body. So when you see this artist renditions of the Lord on the cross stretched out, and it appears that, uh, you know, he's just, I mean, it appears that he has not suffered at all. Listen, when they scourged somebody, he was a bloody mess. And he did this. He did this for you and for me because he loved us so much that he was willing to suffer the most horrendous, the most painful, the most humiliating way that a person could be put to death. And he did this and he willingly did this. He willingly what leading the disciples on the way to Jerusalem, knowing what was ahead of him, he willingly did this for you and for me. And though the disciples, he, they heard him predict his death, hopefully they heard the last portion of what he said. And hopefully we heard the last portion of what he said. And that is, and he will rise again. Yes, <laughs> They may have crucified him on a Friday, but Sunday was still coming. He got up. He rose from the dead. Glory be to God for the great things he has done. I pray that you would meditate upon these verses, that they would be a word of encouragement to you today as you go throughout your weekend. Enjoy your weekend. Beautiful weekend. Get out in the garden, work in the garden, and then on Sunday, I pray that you spend some time in fellowship and in worship with the saints of God and return back here on Monday morning, God's willing, on today's verse. Amen. <laughs> Amen.